I could tell my brother was scared. I, I know my brother. I could tell he was scared. I can hear it in his voice. And for them to call it an accident or a mistake, to be honest, it's just straight bull. Like, that's literally all it is. I want everybody to know, everybody who knows Dante, all right? Everybody who knows Dante knows what kind of kid he is. He's the kid that gave you the shirt off of his back. He is the most loyal person to anybody. He will do anything that you want him to do. Hey guys, good morning from Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. Uh, we're about 200 yards from the police station where hundreds of protesters gathered last night following the death of 20-year-old uh, Dante Wright uh, after a traffic stop on Sunday. Uh, but last night, while hundreds were gathered outside the police station uh, and police used tear gas and rubber bullets to kind of disperse that crowd that was out after a curfew, it left this strip of businesses here uh, essentially wide open to looters. And I want to show you just some of the damage left behind here. Uh, this is a Dollar Tree, and you can see the sprinkler system here that's shattered now, flooding the interior. Looters had hours to kind of grab whatever they wanted to inside here uh, before this scene was finally secure. Real quick, we are learning overnight about the police officer who fired that fatal shot. She's been identified as 26-year veteran Kim Potter, who's been placed on administrative leave, uh, pending this investigation by the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. I uh, will keep you posted for the latest, but that's it from Brooklyn Center.